On the tarmac in what would be Amelia Earhart's very last stateside photo shoot here at United Air Terminal, as it was called in the late 1930s, and this never before seen 16 millimeter footage held by a man in the San Diego area for decades. He called me up in November and said, Why don't you come on down? I'll just give it to you. So I bought lunch and slipped him a release and walked away with a treasured piece of history. Next up, it'll be donated, not sold, while this film is believed to have been shot by the brother of Earhart's personal photographer, Al Bresnick. It is now part of a just released 80 page ebook, Amelia Earhart's Last Photo Shoot. Husband George Putnam and navigator for this around the world attempt, Fred Noonan, were also captured on film. And for writer Nicole Swinford, there is this moment here and all that goes with it. See this moment of the creation of that shot of Amelia um, kind of looking down on us, or us looking up to her, and um, she seemed invincible, you know, up there on top of the world. A world faced with the Great Depression, but then a little over a month later, July 2nd, 1937. Earhart's plane is believed to have crashed in the South Pacific. She's got 16 world records to date. It's amazing. And you see her up, and she's pretty, and she's looking good. We want to remember her the way she is in this film. And in terms of finding a permanent home for this uh, beautiful video, they're looking at the Oakland Aviation Museum. They're looking at Atchison, Kansas. There's the museum there. That was our hometown. Also, the possibility of Purdue University, quite the Amelia Earhart collection at Burbank. Bob Hope Airport, Dave Meekum, KTLA 5 News. What a critical piece of history sitting on a shelf for so many decades. And now wow. can be seen.